around here, but when I see stuff like that, no complaints. Yeah, that is what, you know, the, the problem with that snow in the northeast the past few days, it was a really heavy, heavy, right. heavy wet snow. So it's not really the best for skiing, but good snowball making snow. Bad for rooftops. And though. bad for and rooftops. Back, and lots of heart attacks, actually, right. as a result Shoveling. of shoveling uh, that snow. So we've had our own dealing with a little snow this weekend. Right. I don't say this too often, but if you want snow tonight, all you have to do is take yourself maybe an hour and a half south of here, head down towards Lexington and Louisville, where they will get an overnight snowstorm with a couple of inches of snow expected for folks down in central Kentucky. Meanwhile, around here, we'll be just a little bit too far to the north, but we'll get some of the clouds as that system scoots by kind of to our south tonight. Here's a look at radar. You can see it's quiet around here, but there's that cloud cover south of the Ohio River. In fact, there's really not much happening across the Ohio Valley at the moment. The devil's kind of in the details, but there's a storm system out around St. Louis tonight. It's going to zip to our south and pass towards Louisville and Lexington. And eventually where you see some of this green beginning to show up on the radar, that's going to be snow. So if you have any travel plans taking you south late tonight or early tomorrow morning, do anticipate on slick and again, very slick and tricky travel once you get about an hour and a half south of here. Temperatures right now generally hovering in the low 40s for most of us. 42 here in Cincinnati, 43 in Hamilton. It's 40 in Versailles over in southeast Indiana. Also looking at 41 up in Springboro right now. So here's a look at your forecast for tonight. Just some clouds around here this evening and cold. Temperatures will be hovering generally in the 30s. The outlook hasn't changed for the weekend. It still looks like a nice weekend all in all. It looks like we are going to dodge not one, but probably two accumulating snowfalls at the moment. And that will leave us with nice weather all in all, but it will be a little chilly for this time of the year. So just kind of keep the jackets handy. All right, here's a look at future cast. You can see look at midnight tonight. It's quiet across our viewing area. However, at the very bottom of your television screen, you can see that snow that will be scooting by to our south overnight. So tomorrow morning when you wake up, you'll be greeted with lots of sunshine. Expect a beautiful Saturday around here again, a little chilly maybe for this time of the year, and it looks cold again tomorrow night. As we head into Sunday, guess what? We get again, we're going to dodge another snowmaker to our south. We'll see some clouds increase around here. But all in all, it looks like a fairly quiet weekend weather wise for us as we just barely inch by these accumulating snowfalls. So for tonight, some clouds and cold 26 for your overnight low. And then for tomorrow, mostly sunny and cool. Look for a high up around 46. Here's your day planner. Cold start in the morning. That's why I say it's going to be chilly this weekend. 27 at 8 a.m. by lunchtime around 40 and then into the mid 40s for the afternoon. Here's your seven day forecast. Don't forget this weekend. We lose that hour of sleep as we jump forward with the clocks tomorrow night. There's your highs in the mid 40s. Mike, while we might dodge snow this weekend, Weekend. I think it's coming back next week, probably Monday night into Tuesday. We could have some light accumulating snows and look at those cold temperatures as we march our way towards spring. Just won't go away, will it, Kevin? Thanks.